Apple removed the battery percentage from an iPhone for obvious reasons. It just didn't fit there because of the notch. But why they removed it from the Mac? Who knows? Anyway, years later, updates later, these features are again available on all of these devices. Yet, they are not turned on by default. So let me show you where to find it. Luckily, after many complaints and years of developing, you can again see the charge level alongside with the battery percentage. And it's very easy to activate it on the iPhone. All you need to do is to go to settings, scroll towards the battery, and the first toggle on top is battery percentage. And as you can see, Apple took a similar approach to Android and integrated the battery percentage inside of the battery icon. However, it's a little bit different on the Mac. You have this plain icon here, and even if you click on it, you will not see the remaining charge which was there before. The settings for the battery percentage was moving around macOS all the time, and it seems to be more and more hidden with every macOS update. If you thought that these settings will be on the battery tab like it is on iPhone, you would be wrong, you will not find it there. Next, I would probably go to menu bar settings. Well, there are no menu bar settings anymore. It was like that on macOS Big Sur or macOS Monterey. Now this option is buried deep into the control center settings. Here is the toggle to activate it. It reappeared straight away, yet it didn't change anything in the menu. So you can't still see the remaining charge and how much time you have on the battery. Yes, it was not the most accurate thing, but it's still better to know if you have hours of time or you have just the minutes before your Mac will shut down. Luckily, there is one more place on the Mac where you can see this information. You will find it on the energy tab in the activity monitor. And down here in this small square, you can see your percentage, remaining time on the battery, and also how long you are on the battery already. This might seem like a small thing, but even the smallest feature can save you a few seconds a day, and I think that's worth it. So if you got one second to spare now, give this video a like, and I'll make sure to bring you some more tips in the next video. So see you there.